Hey guys, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. I wanted to show you a tool called the magnifier. This tool is good if you're visually impaired. If you have low vision, you're color blind, or you just have trouble seeing, you know, small print on the screen, this tool can really enhance your experience. Now there are other built-in tools into Windows to help you see better, and we'll cover those on a different class, but this one is for the magnifier. This one is most useful, I think. In fact, I use this magnifier sometimes myself just to see small print sometimes on web pages. So let's get right into it. There are several ways that you can access the magnifier. I'll show you two right now. If you are on a Windows machine, you can click on the start button and in the search box, you can type in magnifier and hit the enter key and you'll see a little box that pops up that says magnifier right here now you can grab the top of this with your mouse and hold down your left button and you can move this around wherever it's convenient I could set it over here out of the way or I could click down and move it over here and you can use this tool by clicking the plus and minus keys and as you can see as I hit the plus key I'm going up in size and if I click the minus key I'm going back down in size and then when I navigate my page it follows my mouse so it's actually just scrolling with my mouse and as you probably can tell the little magnifying toolbar went away but the minute I come back up to my magnifying glass and I click it it reappears there's another way to get into this. Let me go ahead and close this out with the X. There's a much simpler way. If you locate your Windows key on your keyboard, I'll put a picture of it here. It's just the Windows looking key. If you hold down on that and then you use your plus and minus keys on your keyboard at the same time. So I'm gonna hold down my Windows key and I'm gonna hit the plus key one time. And you can see that it's it's zooming in as I hit the plus key and if I hit the minus key it goes right back out and again there's a little picture of my magnifier and if I click on that I get the options and it's just like it was before where I can click it in and out now there are other there are other views that you can use with this magnifying tool. I think this full screen option is probably the most useful, but I'll show you some of the other ones just in case you want to play around. Now, I will tell you, if you get trapped inside this tool, and it can happen, if you have this magnification way up, it can be a little confusing where you are. And if you're having trouble getting out of this, you can always hold down that Windows key again and at the same time press the escape button and then I'll take you right back out. So let's go back into the magnifying glass by holding down the Windows key and hitting the plus key. And I'll show you some of the other um, features. Let me go down just slightly here to where it's a little bit bigger, but not a lot. And if I click on this Views button right here, you can see that we're in full screen. Now I can click on this Lens View, and this time we have a little square, and the square follows my mouse, and as you can see, it acts just like a little magnifier, and again, it, it follows my mouse. If I go back up to the magnifying lens and I expand my view, to 150 let's say my view even gets stronger I could even jack it way up there let's go up to 225 look how big that is or again you know I can click it and make it go back down let's click on that views again that was the lens view let's go to the docked view now the docked view will put a small window at the top of your screen and wherever your mouse is pointed is where it will magnify the view. And you can see as I move my mouse around down here, that's what's followed. Okay. 
and I can always come up to the little window and get right on the edge of it so my mouse turns to a double uh, arrow and I can click and hold down and I can make my window uh, larger or smaller depending on where I let it go. Now it's a little bit bigger. And again, I can click on the magnifying tool and I can make my magnification larger or smaller depending on the view. This is a little bit tougher to use. I think it would be useful if you practice with it. My favorite, again, is just the full screen view, which is here. It just takes everything up. And again, if you get into trouble, you can hold down the Windows key and hit the Escape key and get back to normal. Very useful tool. I hope you got some use out of this. If you did, let us know. Give us a comment. And in other episodes, I'll be covering other visually impaired tools that can help you see your screen better. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the GuruBrewShow.com website. Click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.